Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Please don't mind the fact that my makeup has been on for uh, somewhere around 13 hours and I've been crying because I've been watching This Is Us. So there's a lot of things wrong with me right now. And the fact that I have no self tanner on anywhere on my body anymore. So I just look a mess and we have an empties video, okay? It's gonna be a blast. Shocker, right? <laughs> so we got a big old pile of goodies. So let's just get into it. So we got two lotions, okay? This one is the Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant with Pure Cocoa Butter Heals Dry Skin to Reveal the Natural Glow Lotion. Um, this lotion is garbage, but we've also had it for years. <laughs> I bought this a long, long time ago. It's got dust at the top. That's how old it is. It's so, so old. Finally pumped out the last few squirts in here and moved on with our lives. <laughs> And then this is the Nivea and essentially enriched body lotion. Um, this is fantastic. I love this stuff. So I good. made my boyfriend buy a thing of it because he's always so so stinking dry on his back. So I was rubbing this on his back. It's gross. But this is so. It's got like some oils in it. Like you can feel it. Like it just sinks into the skin. It is so lovely. Thank you, Desi Perkins, for the recommendation. Yes, it's it gives you like a body like highlight. It is so it's like juicy. Oh my god. So nice. So beautiful. And then we have this Bath and Body Works Essential Oils, Almond and Vanilla, Natural Almond Oil, Body Oil with Olive Oil. There's a lot of oils in this oil. Um, this is really nice. I've been um there's a lot of oil on the side of it too. I've been really into body oils lately. I've been trying to take better care of my body skin as well as my face skin. Um, so this is a good one. I really uh, enjoyed this. I bought this for Rachel for bad reasons. <laughs> we ain't getting into that on camera. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we've thoroughly enjoyed it. It didn't fix the problem, but it did help our skin. So Shut that's nice. up. Um, also, I have a question. So I've been seeing a lot on Twitter. Oh, I don't even have a lip color, you crusty bitch. Um, but I've been seeing a lot on Twitter, like, oh, like, use, like, this oil and, like, put it all over your body. Like, don't put something on your body that you wouldn't eat, basically, is what people are saying, that you wouldn't put in your body. Uh, does anybody have any recommendations for a good natural oil that you enjoy for the body? Let me know. We have a Franken body coffee scrub. This is, I don't know, the one in the pink thing. I think it's just a different scent, right? No, it's different. Oh, I don't know, the one in the pink thing. This is so good. Be warned though, this is the messiest crap you'll ever come across in the shower. And it's expensive. And it's pricey. But nothing removes your dead skin like this scrub or like excess self tanner or anything like that. This is so absolutely fantastic. Smells like coffee. I can't say enough good things about it. Besides the fact that it's disgusting, you will need to wash your shower after you use this, okay? Okay. Okay, but I'm not kidding. Ever since I bought this, like, I bought this once just to try it. I was like, oh, cool, a coffee scrub. Awesome. I bought it, and ever since, I have not gone one full week without it. That's how much I love this stuff. This has been, like, two years. It's, like, 16 bucks a pop. And I go through these in, like, a month. <laughs> but I love it. There's a little big granules down there. I'm keeping that for my shower tonight. <laughs> um, and then Rachel, I didn't use this. Rachel finished up the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Dark. Um, I'm starting to rethink my entire life. So I've been using the Jurgen Self Tanner and the Ulta Beauty Self Tanner. However, I have noticed something about those two self tanners. Um, they wear off so fast. Like, um, I find it that the that the Jergens one, not the Ulta one, the Jergens one wears better than the Loving Tan in the way that like when it fades it kind of fades more naturally. It doesn't give you like a whole as many like patches. But I can't get anything to stick on my legs for more than like three days because of like I wear jeans to work. And it's really getting frustrating because I thought I was going to change my life with some drugstore self tanners. And now I have to rethink it and uh, when I'm doing my entire legs, stuff goes fast. So, uh, you know, ignore my patchy legs this summer. Thank you so much. Okay, so we used up the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. This stuff is so good, but it is so expensive. Um, we may repurchase now that we are fresh blondes, and I personally will not be changing this for a minute. Um, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna try at least. Um, I don't have plans on changing it quite yet, but this stuff is like magical. I don't know 
how they done did it, but it's like it's like the Franken body coffee scrub for your hair. You w you walk out of the shower with fresh new hair. It's so so good. And then another Olaplex product. This is the Hair Perfector number three, um, like hair mask. This is really, really good. I wish these bottles were bigger because really you only get a few uses out of this bottle. Ma maximum four and we don't have that long of hair. Yeah, so, um, but this is absolute magic for your hair. You put this in overnight and you are good to go. Um, it's so, so good, but it's really expensive, but worth it if you are really struggling with damaged hair. Um, if you use this, your hair will slowly but surely start to repair itself. Um, and then this is the Bedhead After Party Smoothing Cream. This is so freaking good. I cannot tell you how much I love this. It smells... I can't even smell it anymore. But it smells so good. <laughs> I, um... My hair lady used this on my hair once and I said, What's this? <laughs> because my hair falls so, so good and I was like, I, yeah, let me get a bottle of that because love it this lasted me like decades like decades this is moves your hair makes it smell good it's so good i couldn't get any more out we've been using one from olaplex currently we have two of those the now. number six yeah the number six so we're gonna use that and then after that i think i will repurchase the bedhead one um but because we have the olaplex there's no need to right now um and then last this is the l'oreal elive elive Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. This is a pretty nice hair mask. I just use this as like a deep conditioner in the shower. The smell is okay. It smells like L'Oreal. Yeah, <laughs> it smells odd, but it's a, it's a good product and it's like $5. So if you're looking for a really cheap um, hair mask, these and uh, Shea Moisture also has some really good ones. So I would check those out. Um, so we have two, well, we have three makeup removers. This one's from Mary Kay. I actually love this stuff. It's the oil-free eye makeup remover. I make a remover. Um, yeah, I probably won't repurchase it, but I actually do quite enjoy this a lot. It's very, it, for Mary Kay, it's very good. Then, as per the recommendation of Twitter that I will never, ever forgive, this is the Soap and Glory Vitamin C Facial Wash. People said, girl, this takes off makeup like a dream, so I said, skirt. Uh, Vic actually bought it, but crap. I got the mini size, just in case something went wrong, Thank and I'm God. glad I did. My eyes swell up when I use this, and even if I'm careful and not put it directly on my eyes, when I go to wash off my face, it gets in my eyes. Um, and like I'll try and insert a picture, but like my like my eye swelled twice, two separate occasions after using this every single time. I'd be like, ow, ow, I got something in my eye. Then I wake up in the morning and be like, ow. <laughs> so screw this stuff. It does. I'm mad. It does take off your makeup Shut really up. well though. <laughs> It just harms you in the process. Um, and then we went through yet another Pond's cleansing balm. Uh, this stuff needs more product in it because I feel like we run through it in like 0.25 seconds, but we also do our makeup every day, so it, you know, lose lose. But I love this stuff. We this is probably our fourth, fifth thing. Yeah, can't count. Nope. Um, this is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. There is a Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum Stripe on here, so ignore that. It looks a little crusty. This I is- I thought it was rust. <laughs> rust. <laughs> no, it's vitamin C serum. It looks like rust. <laughs> it's not. Um, anyway, this is really, really good. This is a really good uh, daily moisturizing lotion. It's it's great. It's actually for the body, isn't it? Um, yeah, I read somewhere that this is actually for the body, but I also, somebody, I feel like it was the Taylor. I want to say it was the Taylor. She said she liked this on her face. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. Don't come for her. But it worked well on my face. So <laughs> this would be a small body moisturizer if that were the case. It's really, really good though. I, I enjoy it. I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but I, I did enjoy it while I had it. Um, and then I went through so, sort of a thing where I was like, I want to try some Pacifica. That was a dumb idea. Um, so this is the Pacifica Dreamy Youth Dry ugh, Day and Night Face Cream. So I was like, I was looking up online, I was like doing all my research because I'd heard like some things about the brand, some people really loved it, some people did not, and I didn't want to try their cosmetics because I didn't think they would be up my alley besides maybe the concealer. I heard some good things about the concealer. Um, but the, this, I was like, oh, I'll just get a thicker one. I got this and then a Luminizing Day 
lotion that I put in our primer thing. Um, I didn't like it. It pilled on me. Um, it smelled nice and it felt but it wasn't that pretty luminizing. decent. But it wasn't that luminizing. It wasn't hydrating. It was it was just okay. And then this was fine. I actually use this as a day cream rather than a night cream because it's just. So much. Sorry, I've been doing that all day. I'm like, <sighs> I'm in a mood. Let me sit down <laughs> here. <laughs> What a hunchback. <laughs> Keep speaking. <laughs> anyway, this is not very good. I didn't think it didn't hydrate me very well. I did like I could make it work. I didn't hate this product or anything, but I just wouldn't repurchase this. It was like I feel like I want to say it was like fifteen dollars or something. Like maybe it's better for oily skin or combo, maybe, but not yeah, dry. Maybe. Not dry. <laughs> not for me. Not for this dry one. And then I finished up my beloved belief eye cream eye balm cream balm and um i really <laughs> i really like this i've been using the it cosmetics eye cream the confidence in an eye cream or whatever balm that is so good i stopped using eye cream for a while because i'm crusty and uh i've been starting again and the it cosmetics one it may have replaced this it's probably more expensive though yeah we'll see well. so i went through my um saturday skin I think that's the brand eye cream. This thing was huge. Oh my god, there's so much left. Maybe the pump broke for a bit. Uh, well, I almost went through my Saturday Skin eye cream. There's like, like a full ounce of product in this thing, and it was like 45 bucks. And I was like, sign me up, because I go through eye creams like water. Evidently, it's still there. So, final thoughts: it was great, a lot of product. <laughs> um, and then the. Aveeno Positively Radiant Max Glow Infusion Drops. So you can use this under makeup, like as, hello, um, bit, put your hands down. I was focusing it. Under makeup as a primer, um, or you can mix it in with your moisturizer or use it before moisturizer. I personally like to do it after hyaluronic acid, before moisturizer, right in the middle. Um, it made me feel like I was drinking up some water. Uh, the scent of it was not my favorite. It smelled like conditioner. Um... I don't know if I will repurchase it because it was rather pricey and I went through it rather fast. So that'll, that's kind of up in the air, but I think it's worth trying out. And then the Olay Ultimate Hydration Essence. This is the combing one. I got it per Jackie Anna's request. I thought this would be in a hard plastic. No, nah, this is it's a fun little Ziploc bottom. baggie. <laughs> okay. Um, the squirter on this was lovely, but yeah. I'm gonna stick with Mr. Mario Modescu. Thank you so much. Oh, I could fill this with Mario Modescu. Mm. Genius! We went through two face masks. This is the Origins Drink Up 30 Minute Mask to Quince. To Quince. To Quince. To Quench Skin's Thirst. This does exactly that. This will quench your thirst. It wasn't even that expensive. That no. is so good. This is such a good mask. You can use it overnight or use it for like 30 minutes, like it says. This is so good. And it smells so good. And I can't recommend this enough. This is so good. <laughs> and then this is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Pink Plumping Mask. This is also so good. It... Well, this smells like crayons. Does it always smell no. like crayons? <laughs> I felt like it just smelled nice like sugar, or like cotton candy kind yeah, of. Yeah, I remember it smelled better. This is really, really nice. Um, I, I felt like it did kind of plump me up just because I was so hydrated when I used it. I felt so like, <clears throat> you know, so juicy, juice. like a, I don't know, like, like a sheet, <laughs> a fish. <laughs> Two last items. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion Sunscreen SPF 30. I believe they also have an SPF 50. Yeah, I use, I've used the SPF 50. I love this stuff. I can't recommend it enough. It's perfect for oily or dry skin. It doesn't leave a greasy feel. Vic bought one that the tailor recommended um, that I'm really into right now. I might order one myself, but I repurchased this already, so like, F me, right? Like, what the heck? Um, but I really like this and I think it's perfect for any skin type because it is a water cream. So, and if you are of a deeper complexion, it won't make you look ashy, which I know is a complaint. So, I got you, girl. And lastly, this is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. I got this in like a Ulta free gift thingy. Uh, didn't do crap. I don't know what it did, so I don't recommend this.
Okay, so Vic went through one foundation, which is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in 705, which is the lightest shade, might I add, which is almost my shade right now. It's deep. <laughs> it is It is medium to dark. <laughs> that's, the, that's the shade of this. Um, Vic really likes his foundation. I despise it with my whole soul, but it's discontinued now, so who cares? Goodbye. Rip. <laughs> Um, and I went to through, I went through two of my most loved, my beloved, my beloved foundations. This is the Natasha Denona Face Glow in the shade 42. Um, she has a sale going on right now. Right on her now. website. And I bought two of them. You should have bought up. the blush palette, you stupid. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Oh, hold up. $60 versus $20. Shut your face. We're going on a no-buy. I only repurchased it because it's on sale and I miss it dearly. Uh, I may repurchase this, but I'm going to wait. This is the Lancome Skin Feels Good Skin Tint. This is the best foundation in the entire world. She just got me one for Christmas and I'm stoked. A banger. Uh, the only thing is it has flashback, but like, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not on the red card. I'll be looking like James Charles Flashback Mary, but greasy Flashback Mary. No powder residue to be seen. Yeah, so... And then we did go through three concealers. Um, I'm just working my way through a lot of concealers right now because I've come to find I'm actually kind of picky about concealers and I did not know that until That's because she tried the Huda Beauty one and now nothing compares. And I'm stuck on it. Um, this is the NYX uh, HD Studio Concealer. Um, I've had- this is Rachel's shade, but I've had this before. Wasn't impressed. It's okay. Decent coverage. It's good. This shade was really good for spot concealing on me, or like natural makeup days, but I liked it at first and then I just kind of grew to find it It's okay. just okay. Yeah. Yeah, like it's a fitting. decent it's concealer, good. but that's that's about all. It's just decent. So if you're in a pinch, it'll help you out. But And then this is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer. This is in the shade C1. This is one of my favorite concealers. Incredible coverage, beautiful finish. Problem is, um, it's messy. Very, very it's really messy. messy and it comes with zero product. I believe this section right here, I believe that's all. <laughs> I don't know. I still really, really love this and it's like $5, so I don't know if I'll repurchase it anytime soon now that I found my holy grail, but uh, it's a really good one if you're looking, if you're in the market for one. And then this is the Smashbox Studio Sand Skin. Sin. Sin. Eve is shaking. <laughs> okay, this is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. Oh, okay, that's Spanish. I was like anti curtness <laughs> This concealer, let me let me tell you something. This is the most beautiful light coverage. Fix it up for once in your life. This is the most beautiful <laughs> light coverage dewy concealer ever. Well, so light good. to medium coverage. Um, it can cost transfer, mascara transfer, because it is so dewy, but it would be perfect for those no makeup makeup days um, where you just dab a little conce concealer. Consoler. Little brow gel, little lip gloss, good to go, get out the door. Um, but yeah, I did find mascara to transfer on a little bit. It did crease a little bit, but I also didn't set it with powder because I live life on the edge. However, that was one of the most beautiful concealers I've tried in a very long time, other than the fact that the shades are so dark. Yeah, this is light and it was like far too dark for me most days, but this is- we slept on this for so long because it came in like an ipsy bag and I was like- No, I slept on it because they they had one in the shade light and one in the shade medium. It was a hair. And so I was like, medium, that's my perfect shade because I'm tan and I put it on I had bright orange under eyes, like, like carrot orange. The shade was not okay. It wasn't cute. But. We have three glowy, glowy products, you see? This is the L'Oreal True Match Loomy, Loomy, see, say it with me, Loomy Glotion. Glotion. Not Loomy Lotion. None Loomy. of that. Loomy Glotion. Um, this is in the shade 903 Medium Glow. I personally per prefer the shade 903 to the shade 904, which is Deep Glow, um, because I find it's a little bit smoother on the skin, um, but this stuff is Perfect if you use self tanner or if you just want a little glow to your skin before you go out and about But you don't want to put on any makeup um, I like to use this when I'm not wearing makeup, but my self tanner is only left on my neck So then I walk out looking like a ghost head uh, So I'll just pop this on real quick walk up the door and I look like a model, you know bronzed and glowing bronzed and glowing and then we went through the physician's formula spotlight illuminating primer uh, This is just a liquid highlighter. That's all it is. They shouldn't have put primer on it. Uh, it's okay. I, it was good. By the end of it, I was kind of sick of it. Everybody says it's a dupe for the Pekka one. The, the Pekka. The Becca one. Um, 
It's not. The textures are different color wise. Yes, very, very close. Texture wise, no, not at all. The Becca one is hydrating and smells amazing. That one smells like, I don't know, clay. And uh, it has some glitter chunks in it. It is pretty. I liked it. Um, but by the end of it, I was just using it as a body highlight because I was sick of putting it on. And lastly, we have the Marc Jacobs Coconut Dew Drops in the shade Do You. Are you kidding me? We used a full Marc Jacobs liquid highlighter. That is what we've come to in this world. This is so gorgeous. There's like, a, there's like some left, but you have to scrape the sides. It's just not worth the hassle. Like, I'm not a psychopath. But this stuff is gorgeous as a face highlight, as a body highlight. Mixed in with foundation. So and then we went through a couple of mascaras. This is the Butter London Double Decker Mascara. Rachel, for eons, was like, don't throw it out! Okay, guys, you This see, is 80 years old, and it's dry, guys, and it's all the hell. Listen to me. I'm I gonna hate, get an eye infection. I hate new mascaras with a burning passion. Putting on a new wet mascara makes me want to throw up. It is the worst thing in the world. So I like to keep one old dry one that still has some mascara on it to use to re- to coat my lashes in dry mascara after I put on a wet one or just to comb it out because if I use normal spoolie it done messes it up. I need a real mascara wand, okay? Don't judge me. She gonna die. Anyway, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational uh, mascara. I really love this one as well. You um, tell me you didn't keep that till it's bone dry too? Because <laughs> it's bone dry. Woman, why are you slouching so much? <laughs> Put your back into it. You need a chair with a back. Anyway, I really like this mascara. I did keep it till it was bone dry, but, but the thing is, listen, listen here. I repurchased this a few months ago. Not a year ago when I got it in a boxy charm. <laughs> I repurchased this three to four months ago. Three to four months. I don't listen to shelf lives. Anyway. So we ran through our beloved. I discontinued. Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in Soft Brown. This is the last one we have with the old wand. The other one has that stupid ball on it. I've got it. tears in my eyes thinking about this. Oh my god, you see, the thing is, for Christmas, I said, Hey boyfriend, hey sir, I need you to buy me every single one of these that you can find in stock in the shade soft brown or deep or dark brown, whatever. I don't care. I need- Get it in black if you must. I need this brow gel in my life. And you know what happened? I sent him pictures. I sent him the name of the brow gel. He done got the wrong thing. He bought me like four things with this like Maybelline pomade tattoo brow type deal. And I was like, thanks babe. <laughs> Thank you so much with tears in my eyes because I was so damn upset that this thing is discontinued. I'm gonna check Amazon and pay $45 for it. Actually, just kidding. Um, So now we, Use our ABH Dip Brow Gel. Uh, it's not the same. It's I love it, but it's not the same. It's okay. not. Nothing. This is the Nothing. best. Maybelline, if you're watching this, which I know you aren't, <laughs> please, please bring it back <laughs> with the, the old wand. I'm begging. Let me show you the new wand, just for reference. These buttholes brought out this stupid piece of garbage. <laughs> this little dangling on a stick. <laughs> you expect me to fill in my brows with this? I need my paddle applicator with plastic bristles. You see, all we did was complain about this applicator when we first got it, but once you get used to it, get in the groove of it, it really works. So uh, maybe I'm just gonna have to squirt some brown hair dye on this and call it a day. Oh, a day. It did because the thing. I'm pissed. Anyway, lastly, but not leastly, this is the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss in Featherless. This is from the Flights of Fancy collection. I hate that name with a strong burning passion. I cannot tell you why. Reminds me of a choir kid. Um, <laughs> this lip gloss was beautiful. It's a nice like pinky peach lip gloss. It has a little bit of like a like a NYX lip oil kind of feel to it. Um, nice lippy. Yeah, it didn't get very like cracky or like gross like some lip glosses do. I wish they had it in a um. Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in Tease type shade because <laughs> I really like this formula and I really like that color. But yeah, I do recommend these glosses. They're very pretty. So, Jesus Christ, our desk is full. That is a big... I need your help. Okay. <laughs> so, 
that uh, that's all the stuff we went through the last little bit because we have not been able to film for the life of us. Let me tell ya. So, very frustrating, but you know, continue to come back for the empties videos because those will always be <laughs> Those here. are the only videos we film at this point. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, we hope you enjoy and hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.